Hello everybody, this is the Germinator, you should already know that, that's my channel name. By the way, I got a new chair, because my other one broke and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, I decided to redo Skyblock, so this is, you know, two, or attempt two, if you will. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But anyway, I looked up the stuff, like how to spawn animals, and yeah. And this time I will try to make sure... And comment below and you know just keep me up on it you know if anybody's really watching at this point um, I do not break the grass because that is very important don't break grass and I hope I get saplings otherwise I have to redo the oh I didn't okay now if I can just collect it good 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 all you need is a sapling for success but I got three, so... Alright. So, yeah. It doesn't really matter the time of day. I made... I just make this on creative, if you haven't seen my, vid uh, my video yet, on how to just create it. Um, and that's what I did. So, the timing, who cares? Uh, you know, when you fall, it's not a bottomless pit, but, you know, who cares? It's... The basic concept is still the same. If you fall, you die. <laughs> and, you know, certain aspects, you could screw up, all that. So it's all the same concept. And this is the original Skyblock. It's not, you know, the whole islands or whatever people were talking about in my video. I really don't know what any of that means. I'm talking about original Skyblock. For those of you noobs. Are, are all like, what do you mean? Original. I mean original. So don't go asking where the, the floating islands or whatever the heck any of that even means where those are because there is none. There is no floating islands. I don't, you know, whatever. Okay. Probably do this above water. I said the <laughs> like I just now created this and switched the game modes with the command. So you know, it just happened. And then I paused it. You know, after looking up whatever, I started recording. In case you guys are wondering. All right, this is probably so then this. Alrighty then. Um, I'm thinking. Not yet. Put that there for protection. Alright. Oh, wait, I need to do it right there. What am I doing? Wait, I messed I messed up guys. I I messed up. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot to take this out. There we go. Now let's try it. Gotta be quick about it. There we go. Put all this in safekeeping. Now let's begin. So yeah, I failed last time. The reason I'm restarting this is because the other, the other ones, you know, the the, the last one I tr attempted to do, I had broke all the grass, and I need that grass. I need the grass blocks. So I had broken all the grass without realizing it. You know, I forgot about that. I also died and lost the bone, so then I had no chance of doing that, and, you know, I hate messing stuff up, so the competition here is if you mess up mess up something, you have to start all over. And I don't necessarily mean, I mean, you can, like, I could continue, but really, what fun would it have been if I can't spawn any animals? Like, I don't have any grass, it would have just been torture for me, so, just in case I don't, I don't want to fall in there. Right. 
Because of reasons. Gosh, guys, why do you have to be so insecure? My hair do, though. Just... Bedhead just gets the best of me. Ah, it's so nice to lean back. But ain't nobody got time for that. We are playing some Skyblock. This is some serious stuff. You guys can go ahead and, you know, ignore those two first episodes because this is where the series really kicking off. Unless I mess up here again too. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna rename the first two episodes. <laughs> You know, the first attempt or whatever. I don't know. Then this will be the official episode one. I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Gosh, guys, stop. Gosh, stop pressuring me. background this is just the way I do it you guys can do it however else there's, I'm sure there's ways out there to do it differently but this way I can later on collect all the dirt and put that to some use other than just sitting there know what I'm saying? Whole part here. I should really keep this elevator here in case I fall <laughs> and I could just catch myself. Which would be really awkward if I almost fall to the bottom that I catch myself. You know, wouldn't that put a damper on the whole thing? You know, if that's possible. Think about it. I'm not going to take advantage of that, though. I'm sure that's on the original skyblock, is it? Like, if you fall, you can be caught by water and survive? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm cheating. I don't like cheating. I don't like cheating, guys. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so guys, how are things going? How's the family? <laughs> good? Yeah, good, good. My head itches. So, um... Yeah. Things are going good. That's that's wonderful. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like an ocean of Sprite. I like Sprite. Sprite's like one of my favorite sodas. Right up there with Barks and Coke. It used to be Pepsi, but I switched ever since I did that challenge. You can you can view it on my channel, Coke vs. Pepsi. It's a few videos back. But um since I did that, it's opened my eyes because Coke just tastes better. Plus, not to mention, Coke products are everywhere. You know, you can't. If there's any good classic American restaurant, you know, that serves like burgers and fries, whether it be fast food or a diner, it's usually gonna be Coke that they Coke products that they serve. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. Plus, you know, the sodas do taste good. I do like more of the Coke products. Like, you know, you have your Coke, you have your Barks, you have your Fanta, you have your Sprite. You know, there's a lot of stuff there that I like, whereas under Pepsi was just pe really just Pepsi Mountain Dew. And, you know, select others were just kind of there. You know, I guess Sierra Mist, Mug, 
Okay, but yeah. I don't know. Coke just feels more Americana, if you will. You know, Pepsi is just in a bunch of offshoots such as Taco Bell, KFC, Pizza Hut. You know, uh, American restaurants nonetheless, but just not as American as far as food is concerned. You know, as far as the food they serve. Not classic American food. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Alright. Let's just keep building, I guess. I should really do this near the waterfall. You know? Would be way more safer. Dun 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 dun. OCD. OCD. Or you know, CD, CDO, because you know, it has to be in alphabetical order. But yeah, Sprite's probably my favorite soda. I'd be mining all day long. Look at those pixels. I want no rainy noise you hear in the background. Because I don't live by myself, so you know there's other people. It's just a thing you guys gotta deal with, but I'm hopeful. I'm hoping soon I can buy um, buy like a blue Yeti mic or something because they're good quality. You know they don't pick up all that background. But no, as far as I, at least I hope not. Like some YouTube gamers use use that use that mic. It's pretty, it's pretty epic. You know, it's really good quality. You hear them clearly. You know, I like it. This mic was twenty or thirty dollars, and it, it gets the job done. It's just not the best quality. All right. Dang it. I have three in the chest for my king. You know, I better make some food like right now. Hang on, let's find this one actually. There we go. It. Oh, duh. What am I doing? I need the need more cobble. Corn on the cobblestone. <laughs> Wait a minute, I need <laughs> Oh my gosh. I am wasting time here. 
Need to make the Yeah. There we go. Do you guys happen to know does it need dirt right there? I don't know. I'm just gonna replace it, I guess. Just in case. Anyway. Back to what we were doing. Which was mining. <laughs> Go away, pop ups. Nobody likes you. Go away. Set these aside. Hurry, you know the next pickaxe. Well, it's like minus stack or something. Quit disappearing with the <sighs> Just to have stuff. <laughs> just to have stuff to talk about. Uh, what's your guys' favorite vehicle ever? Mine would be the Jeep Wrangler. Merc. You know, because it's it's a classic American vehicle. Uh, it's been around since the 40s. You know, the Willys Jeep was practically the first Wrangler, and it was awesome. And yeah. I think they're working outside or whatever. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah. You know, Jeep Wrangler. My second favorite would probably be the Dodge Challenger. I'm a Chrysler guy, so. What's weird though is I like Chrysler, but when I say Chrysler, I mean Chrysler Group LLC, like the corporation. I don't mean Chrysler in and of itself because I couldn't really care less. You know, like the Chrysler through the Chrysler PT Cruiser, though, was a pretty cool vehicle. But besides the PT Cruiser, there's nothing of the Chrysler really interests me at all. Um, I like what they own, which would be you know Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. You know, <laughs> so it's like I like Chrysler for Jeep, Dodge, and Ram, but not Chrysler itself, if that makes sense. Which is now owned by Fiat, so it's a little bit awkward to be all America when it's owned by an Italian company. But that's fine because it's still it's still a very American company, you know. They probably they would have gone bankrupt or whatever. They were hanging on by a limb, and, and then Fiat stepped in and you know helped them out. They they bought the company, so now they own it. Now they're continuing continuing the Americ Americanness of Chrysler, even though they're an Italian company. But you know they're still making American jobs here in America. They're still you know keeping the American muscle car alive and whatnot. And you know, I applaud, I applaud their efforts for that. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't make the vehicles Italian all of a sudden. It's just, hey, well, you guys are about to go bankrupt and no longer make these vehicles. We're gonna help you out. We're gonna buy your company. You know, we're gonna help you Americans out, so. To me, it doesn't make it less American. You know, who doesn't need a helping hand once in a while? I mean, if you think about it, the Statue of Liberty was made by the French, so... <laughs> you know. I'm just saying. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. Plus, to have an Italian company behind it will make things only better. Because have you seen Italian cars? They are phenomenal. They make phenomenal sports cars. So, to have them have somewhat of an influence on these American cars will only make us just beat the competition, you know, like, could buy GM and Ford because Italians are stepping in and helping out Chrysler with their Americanness. They'll only make it better. I can't say that for, you know, Disney and Star Wars, but I can say that for Fiat and Chrysler. As much as it sucks that it's owned by a foreign company, you know, it isn't all bad, you know, if anything, you know, Look at the Hellcat, for instance. You know, they're making the Hellcat. That is still an American vehicle. It's made, I think it was probably invented by Americans, but, you know, the Italians are helping out. You know, their influence is just 
you know, making our cars great. One, two, three, four. They put, they're putting a Hemi in everything, though. That's what I don't get. Because the Hemi is supposed to be the muscle cars, like Challenger and Charger. But now they're putting it into the Ram. And even some of the Jeep Grand Cherokees, it's like, what? You don't. You can't just put a Hemi into everything. What's the point of having a muscle car if you're going to put an en that same engine in everything else? <laughs> so now Ram is like a muscle truck, which is pretty awesome. But still, you know, it's eh, a little unnecessary. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Still, that it makes the ram a little better though, because it's it's like a muscle truck now. It's pretty awesome, but you know, okay, whatever you say. You know, it's eh, sure thing. I should make a bed. In case you didn't know, string can be used for this stuff. I want to make sure that if I die, I don't spawn elsewhere in the world. That would suck so bad. So I'm just going to put that right there. And sleep in it. And hope I don't fall. I don't think I will, because it's... Yeah, there we go. Good. I want to cover that up. <laughs> Good. Good. Let's bring the grass down. Well, that turned into grass instantly. <laughs> yeah, we should build more cobble around here. Don't fall, don't fall. Why don't I just make that the stairs? That'd be that'd be a easier actually. That would be much better. Just make that the stairs. If you guys know what I'm saying. I'm not sure if that would affect anything. Do you guys think? I, I don't. I don't think, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wait, we still have cobble. What are we, what are we doing? One, two, three, four. What, what was over here? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more over here as well. So for those of you who just what kid are watching this now, thank you. Cause you know, I don't mean to get you guys like, oh, really he's restarting it all over. What a noob, you know. If I'm, it depends on how far. Cause I had just started, you know. Those were just the first two episodes, and on the very second episode is when I. You know, lost stuff, so. But if I'm far enough, you know, I'm gonna be like, hey, nobody got time to restart that, you know? I mean, I would think about it. I don't know if I'd do it or not. Six, one, two, three, four, five, thick. One, two, three, four. Do you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that was weird. I'm sorry. What's your guys' favorite food? Mine would have to be like burgers and fries. America. Favorite restaurant would have to be Denny's, probably. You know, diners. I, although the best the best restaurants out there are small always small business ones like small business diners they make the best food ever and you know as well as as well as some I guess you can call them fast food joints like this is one place I know of it makes pretty good food and especially good ice cream 
and um, and there's I I think at least they're a small business. They serve Pepsi products though, but they're um, which is oddly enough since they serve burgers and fries, you hardly ever see that. But you know, with Pepsi products, but. But, 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 they, you know, they serve really awesome ice cream and whatnot, and their burgers are all right. And now I'm hungry talking about, <laughs> about it all. But, yeah. I've never been to In-N-Out Burger. That's, like, down in California. But I, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to try it someday, because, you know, from what I hear, it's, I hear people say it's really good. You know, I have a couple friends who 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 are like, "Oh man, you should try it," because you know they've they've visited California before, and I'm like, oh, "Okay, if I'm ever down there." <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm saying. I don't know. Have you guys ever been to Five Guys? Was it good? I hear a lot of good things about that place. Or not, or in and out burger. Five guys. I've heard. I've heard about two. I don't know. What do you guys? What do you guys think about all that? Me three for the next pickaxe. Anyway, I'm going to stop the episode here. It's been more than 10 minutes, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Tell your friends. Like, comment, subscribe if you will. Anyway.